Okay, so when you think of virtual reality, or what people, some, some people call VR, what comes to mind? Um, it's not the little thing anymore these days. There's a lot more going on than just gaming. There's all kinds of practical uses from treating post-traumatic stress disorder to allowing doctors practice surgery on virtual patients. And here on Delmarva, an assisted living facility in Denton is using VR to keep their residents' minds stimulated and they're getting some amazing results. Delmarva Life's Maxine Bensel shows us how VR is taking the residents places they've always dreamed of going. Lois Barton has been on a lot of roller coasters in her life, but never from the comfort of her couch. All righty, here. Let's go. Here we go. We're going to put it on. There we go. What do you see? Oh, God, that's beautiful. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Through the power of virtual reality, Lois can ride on a roller coaster at an amusement park in California without ever actually going there. Get out. Yeah, you can holler. Woo! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, this is a real roller coaster in real life, but you're watching it in VR right now. I've never seen VR before. <laughs> is that a man or a woman or what? <laughs> VR is opening a whole new world of opportunities for residents at Homestead Manor. Administrator Christine Harrington says the idea came from her son, Jacob. So he mentioned, wouldn't this be great? We could take your residents on an adventure. And at first I was thinking, oh, yeah, really? And then I tried it. And I was like, oh, Jake, we have to get you into the facility. So Jacob brought a pair of VR goggles to the facility in Denton and asked the residents to try them on. It was, it was a barrel of fun. I love roller coasters. And I, I feel sorry for people who don't get on them to find out what they're like. Yeah, but what do you do? There's some things I don't want to do, but I'll ride a roller coaster any day I can get a ride. The results were inspiring. We've had residents who don't respond much to other things, and they'll use the virtual reality glasses, and their eyes are bright, they're looking around, they're talking more. Um, they're actually asking to go places. And now when they see him come through the door when he's home visiting, um, they get excited. And so does Christine. She recalls right, one memorable right, moment with resident Vivian Meisner when she tried VR for the first time. I've been here five years and I may have heard her speak six or seven times in the five years I've been here. Um, we put the goggles on her. I think we took her to see all the puppies and you could see her reaching for them and you could see her making noise and saying, oh, ah, how cute, you know. And then afterward, she kept reaching toward my son who was interacting with her and he said, where would you like to go? She just looks right at me and she just says, Grand Canyon, I want to go to Grand Canyon. And then everybody's brawl, just bawling right now. And I'm like, guys, she just wants to go to the Grand Canyon. I'll get, I will get her to the Grand Canyon. And Jacob can get them just about anywhere in the world they'd like to go. Some of our residents are going to places they've always wanted to go to, but have never gotten there. And unfortunately, they and their family realize that they're not gonna get there. So we're taking people to the Grand Canyon, to Italy, to Rome. Um, it's endless. It's as endless as the internet. When we Already. visited, Ruth Defford wanted to take a trip to Brazil, okay. a country her grandson has visited many times and told her all about. Alrighty. Goggles on and it was you up, up see, and okay? away. Okay. Within seconds, Ruth was flying over Rio de Janeiro. I see lots of houses. Oh, you see the city? Buildings, yeah. Oh, doesn't that beach mm -hmm. look beautiful? It does. Oh my gracious, yes. Oh my goodness, uh, does it feel like you're just flying through there? Uh-huh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh I think oh, you're getting, go. oh, you're getting Ooh. close. You get to see them all up close. Oh, bye. Oh, yeah, they're there's there's down there. There's a ton of people there. <laughs> there is, ooh. Ruth was hesitant at first to try VR. It was kind of a little scary at first, and I thought, no, we saying, this is something wonderful. This is something you wanted to see for a long time, and look, <laughs> it's here. <laughs> And it's not just a stimulating experience in the moment. The staff at Homestead Manor have noticed the results last long after the goggles come off. Even after the glasses are gone, two and three hours after we're having them, you know, be more alert during that day. 
which is why Christine would like to purchase more VR goggles in the future. The plan for the future is that we would get three or four pairs and activities can take a group of people. For instance, if you want to sign up to go to Italy or to go to the Vatican or to go to the rainforest, there would be designated time during the week when we would have VR time, so to speak. Everybody can go together and the um, activities director can lead the activity. And Christine says they'd also like to find a way to use VR to bring their residents to weddings and other family gatherings they may not be able to make it to in the future. I think that's a great idea. Oh my goodness. Isn't that wonderful? Have you, you've done it, right? I have not. I, I watched my husband do it yeah. at the museum in Washington, D.C., and I had more fun watching the expression on his face as he was, you know, <laughs> being a fighter pilot in World War II. I've done it either. We, we got to do this. Yeah, we've definitely we got to try it. And to learn more about the programs offered at Homestead Manor, visit our website, delmarvalife.com.